Well, as we know, the new team name was decided after months of surveying fans and research. So, what's so special about those guardians that sit on that Hope Memorial Bridge? Marissa Sines explains. Today is the beginning of a new era in Cleveland. Following the Cleveland Indians last out of the season, the team's name hangs up its hat for good. We remember those moments as we move forward with change. The new team name, the Guardians, making its nationwide debut tonight. That name digging deep into the roots of our city. We were done by a man named Henry Harry. As the industrial city was transforming into a fully automotive era, the Guardian statues made their mark in 1932. They are the guardians of traffic, sometimes given as the guardians of transportation. But... You can't miss them. The sandstone carvings, all eight of them carrying a mode of transportation that carries you through the evolution of time. They go from stagecoaches and hay wagons up to an electric delivery cart. The bridge connects the two sides of the city, split by the Cuyahoga River the river the city was created around. Historians say the Hope Memorial Bridge, where these monumental statues live, is the single piece of infrastructure that keeps the city of Cleveland connected. So you have two major streets linked over an industrial valley. It, it is the bridge to the West Side Market, which went from being a regional market to what I would call a regional treasure. The Guardian's history heavily imprinted on the city of Cleveland just Legends. like baseball. But it becomes a symbol of Cleveland in the same way that the Guardians have now become a symbol of Cleveland. Marissa Sines, 3 News. And tonight, reaction from the Wahoo Club president. The nonprofit organization has been around for 59 years, and its mission is to support and promote baseball and the Cleveland Indians. Club president Bob Rosen says he was prepared for the name change, saying he has incredible memories at Indians games, and that's what really matters. You know, my primary concern is what happens between the, the um, bases. And, you know, if the Indians can go out and win, it's great for you know, us as fans. It's great for the community. It's great for the economy. He said he much prefers the name the Guardians to the Spiders. And you might be wondering, will the switch from the Indians to Guardians mean a name change for the Wahoo Club? The answer is no. Rosen says the club's name will remain the same.